Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with lots of project shares. So let me first um, talk to you guys about the dies that I used today. So I used the Memory Dex envelope, which you've seen me use that before. This is the first time that I'm using the Romantic Vintage Tags, which looks like this, which you get three different sizes and a set of flowers to match the size of the tag. So like small, medium, and large. Um, I also played around with this guy. This was not in my design team package. Um, I believe I was given this at a different time. Um, I don't remember, but um, these are the uh, like little pennants um, and this they have the Halloween words on it but of course remember to check my description box below at the end of the video I will link every single thing that I've used uh, that is Scrap Diva Designs in my description box below and if you have any questions of course leave it in the comments and don't forget to use my coupon code which is Natalie10 so Let's go ahead and jump right in. There's lots to share today. <clears throat> Another die that I used, but I didn't pull it out. I already put it back away. I used the flip-flop die, and I decided to make a spooky one. Everything you're going to see today pretty much is Halloween. So I decided to make the flip-flops like in a Halloween. Is that not the cutest? love 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 I love this this one is so versatile you can do it in any theme so I am loving how that turned out and I put a glittery boo at the bottom I added a cute little spider and a spider web um, I use this cute little ghost uh, paper I got this from Michael's um, a year or so ago, that cute little paper. But that's definitely my favorite sheet in that paper bag. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it, but so cute. And then I used some little ghosties that I had in my own stash from a long time ago to put in the uh, center of the flower. And I am just loving how cute this die is. It's adorable. So really, really cute. I may make like a jelly purse and stick them on there and make it like a Halloween treat bag. That could be cute. So that's the first little goodie. Then I made, I used that, um, the romantic tag set. What is it called? No, I forgot. It's called romantic vintage tag. That's what it is. And I made this little cutie. I've been having this little cute monster type thing for so long and I never knew what to use it with. So I decided to go ahead and use it on this, which I love. It's like a, not a monster. It's like a, what do you call that? Where you stick pins in people? Cause that's what those are. Like a voodoo doll, I guess. So cute. And um, I layered the larger one and the medium one. And then I put my cute little um, guy on top of there, or girl, whatever you want to say. So cute. And I did put some foam tape in between. And this is where I use those cute little Halloween banners. I just kind of tucked one behind there. But so cute. I love that. Such a cutie. And it looks like it's a lot of pieces, but it's really not. <laughs> it's just one bigger piece. And then I just... Um, put it together and put it on top of this super cute tag. Such a fun thing for Halloween. I'm loving that. And then here's the next one that I made. Um, this one, I did another one of the tags. And I did the same thing. I did a little, one of the little banner pennant things over in the corner. And then I layered some paper, two tags, the larger and the medium size. And then I made this cute little pumpkin shaker to go along with the pumpkin themed um, paper that I used. And I just added a cute little bow. This is the flower um, that comes with the other uh, romantic tag. So I just made a couple of those and that's what you're seeing on the project. And then I added some sequins in there, pinks and oranges, cause that goes with the theme of this paper that I use, which is Prima 31 so cute loving that all right and then here's the next one 
I made this cute little skeleton cutie. So you can see the theme is the same on uh, on all of them. I just changed out the cute little character, if you will. This one's a little skeleton. So cute. Love that. Love that. And I, you know, I don't never, well, I do Thanksgiving, but I don't usually do pink. So I wanted to try something a little bit different and try some pinks. Um, and I use, of course, this orange color for this one. I'll stand them all up so you guys can see them. And then the next one is the Memory Dex envelope, which I've made this one already a couple of times. Is that not the cutest? I was in a swap um, last year, and of course I made myself a set of the same things that I gave everybody else, and I made this cute little witch face, and she fits down in there perfectly. I just love that. And then I added a witch's broom, and I added the word witch on there, but how cute is that to give somebody? I absolutely love that. So cute. And I made this with my Cricut. Um, it was one of the files that was available um, in the, I wanna call it Cricut Studio. I might be saying it wrong. That might be the old word for it, but um, where you pay the $9.99 a month like, for the subscription and you can use the, um, everything that's in the, the Cricut library or studio or whatever you want to call it. So cute. And I put a little bling on her nose to give her a wart. <laughs> so fun. So that's the next thing. And then here's the last thing that I did. I played around with the Valentine's treat box. Of course, it's super versatile. You can use it for lots of different things. So I decided to go ahead and put one together. And this is the, what's her name? I know her last name is Beth Gee. I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the thing. But she uh, created this super cute um, Halloween paper with, I think that's Oogie Boogie and Jack Skeleton. I think that's the name of it. But so fun. And I did make a shaker this time. I had, you put it up on the, the layer, the, excuse me, the upper layer, just add some foam underneath, and then you just have to put a, um, an acetate at the top and the bottom, and you can create a cute little shaker with um, the treat box. Isn't that so fun? And I did two different ribbons. I thought that would be neat. So I did a stripe one, and I did an orange one, and I added a cute little button down here. Inside there, if you can see, there's some little Jack Skeleton um, faces. There's also a Sally. Oh, there she is. There's a Sally in there. <laughs> so I thought that would be super cute and how fun to send somebody um, a cute um, box with some goodies in it for Halloween. So I am getting all ready. Um, I have Halloween swaps coming up and all kinds of fun stuff coming up. So why not get started for some uh, fall and Halloween crafting? So those are my projects for, oh, oh, I forgot to share you, show you guys one more. <laughs> this is the only one that's not Halloween. I did another one of these cute little um, memory decks um, envelopes and I did this one Christmas. So cute. And this is the first time that I've used that slider set. Look, you guys, isn't that the cutest? <laughs> I love that. So fun. And all this stuff I just like glued down in there. It doesn't it doesn't come out or anything. But I thought that would be fun to make the Santa move with that little slider set. So the slider cuts out this. And then it gives you some little dots that you can attach to whatever you're going to make slide. But I added this little extra piece. I just cut uh, like an inch uh, by maybe three inch or two and a half inches. And I just attached it to the back of the sliding piece so that I could make it move. Now, none of the sliders are this long. So what you do is you cut it out and then you just slide the die up a little bit to where you want it to end. And you have to run it back through a second time. That's how you can extend the slider. But isn't that fun? So cute. And it just says Merry Christmas under there love that and then i just made another one of these the little paper clips that come with it and i just put a cute little flower on it so those are all my super fun projects 
thank you guys so much for stopping by to take a look. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Do not forget to use my coupon code, which is NAT10, to save yourself on your purchase. And I will see you guys all very soon. Have a great week coming up, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!